I'm doing a quick video on my seven hair don'ts. Number one is excessively using heat. The easiest way to damage your hair is by overheating it. Kudos to you if you could eliminate heat altogether, but if you can't, here are some tips to help you limit that heat. One, use a powerful heat protectant. Two, Use low to your lowest heat setting on your hair tools. Three, protect your hair from a lot of sun exposure. Four, develop and stick to a hair repair mask routine. Two, tight ass hairstyles and hairdos. Often repeating slick back buns and ponytails contribute to heat breakage and receding hairlines. Don't worry about this. This is just big and me. I'm looking out. So to steer away from this hair side effect, I recommend limiting those styles to special events and holidays. Also, explore protective styles that are more loose and effortless looks and gentle to your scalp. Three, using piping hot water on wash days. Our scalp and hair isn't into hot water the way our bodies enjoy that hot water. Steam and heat literally strip away our natural oils. So, solution here. Switch your water closer to cold or room temp. That way your follicles can breathe and prevent added damage. Four, Overwashing or barely washing. We dull our hair when overwashing out our natural oils. That's meant to nourish it. At the same time, we can clog our pores and stump hair growth when skipping too many wash days. Five, harsh towel hair drying. Rough towel drying results in a lot of breakage. Solution, opt for using a microfiber hair wrap or leaving hair to dry in a t-shirt. My top recommended is air drying. Six using cotton pillowcases. Swap them out for silky ones. Silky pillowcases allow your hair to absorb more of its oils to leave behind lust, shine, and hydration. My last hair don't is a five-star one by me. Think and speak kindly about your hair. This hair don't may sound wacky, but there's a lot of power in what we say and think. Our bodies receive those messages, so feed it your best ones.